that just lost me completely. I know. Yeah, I used to have that, but my soul's been crushed. There's no clapping. There's nothing to be clapped about. There's yelling and screaming. Except those and cheeks. Slamming. Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro. Mrs. Lush. Sweetheart, some people build their online careers on the back of their personality, and others use visual effects and insane editing to make people go, holy sh**. How is that even possible? Zach King comes to mind, one of the legendary editors of our time. We're gonna look through some of those types of edits today. It just so happens the team put together a list and Zach King is number one on this list. First clip we're looking at. Checking these things out. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Whoa, that's... Oh, I feel like you showed me this stuff. You've seen Zach King before. Hey, Emil, have you seen these? Look at this. Hey, I watch a movie. Come on the big screen. Wow. Actually, these are really cool. You want to see? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. It was this dude, I think the 20 reason- 20 seconds. That, that probably took 10 hours to make a 20 Honestly. second clip. And there's a reason why Zach King, we've talked about him before on this channel, has 81.2 million followers. Holy crap. Yeah, it's a lot. Just how? I don't know. I'm obsessed with that. I love Zach King. I actually knew about him years ago. He used to go by Final Cut King on YouTube, and he started, I believe, doing Final Cut tutorials. And back when I was learning to edit on my iMac way back in the day, he was one of the guys I mm. would watch his videos to learn. And he has since, I think he owns like a huge studio now, and they do all types of stuff. They work on feature films, professional projects. Pretty incredible what he's been able to do. Super talented guy. What about the trampoline portal? <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, so much. That's precious. like that's like a simple edit, but you're just literally turning the camera upside down. I think the most impressive part for me is what comes before the editing or any of the technical skill needed to get it, and it's just the idea to of think of like how you can edit something to make it look like that. Being able to come up with that concept is mind blowing to me. It's having creativity is not something that everyone possesses. But imagination. Okay, so I guess it takes that I creativity plus good. the technical skill. Sure. And to be able to have that foresight, like, okay, this is how it's gonna come out if I shoot it like this yes. and cut it like that. Yeah, I used to have that, but my soul's been crushed. So <laughs> it doesn't really exist anymore. By the internet, yeah, age, much. time, All parenthood, the above. Yeah. marriage, delting. What? Are you trying to hurt my feelings? Turning 40 in two years, <laughs> less than two years. All of the above. Nice. That's pretty gnarly. That's like a combination of animation and masking, which is cool. I like that style. Again, that was probably a ton of work for such a short clip. Right. It's funny because animators and people that do this type of work, it's unforgiving most of the time. There's so many mm. people that are really good at this stuff that don't have an audience or get millions of views. And it's just very difficult to gain that audience because the internet obviously rewards volume. And when you're putting like hours and hours and hours into like a 20 second reel, it's very yeah. difficult unless you have an established team all doing it together. As like a solopreneur or someone starting out, it's really difficult to do enough volume. But there are people who are just so good at what they do, they'll only upload like once every month or two and it will just crank because okay. the quality of that video is so good versus the, you know, upload every day and more higher volume personality driven content like we do. <laughs> My mom made this cosplay for oh, me. Oh God. I edited it for two weeks. That looks pretty good. That was really well done. The reason I was into that is because that's a League of Legends character. I was going to say, that just lost me completely. <laughs> I know. A bit of a League of Legends guy, so I'll watch a Jinx cosplay. Good editing, blah, blah, blah. Any League fans in the audience, you know what I'm talking about. Small Tunnel Big Man. Sounds like my life. Down in the deep. What? See, like, how do you think of that? That's about the most basic thing on the planet. Now he's going to walk through it. Yeah. 
That was uh. not. That was not very. Like your brain just works on a different wave. Like like it you're totally you're does. wired completely different. You would never in your life think to do something like that. But that's why you're not sitting down brainstorming trying to come up with cool content to make. I just forced you into being on the internet with me, sitting next to me talking about cool creative things. Here I am. But it's fine. Like some people are wired that way. Other people are not. You're. T I don't know what you'd call that. Left brain, right brain type stuff. The lapse in slow motion together. Oh, I like stuff like this. That's not, that's all. Oh, dude, that's crazy. The hyper slow-mo with the time lapse in the background. Oh, and then vice versa. Yeah, I mean, that you can do just with simple masking. Yeah, simple masking. Yeah, as an editor myself, I like to think about what's going on, you know, sure. on the editing floor to make these happen. That was very clean and cool. Most intense Uno match ever. Did they get footage from our house last week? <laughs> <laughs> Love this. <laughs> this is excellent. Legendary Jay. <sighs> Jesus. For a game of Uno. For a game of Uno. That was awesome. I've seen this guy before. I love his editing style. It's very like anime inspired, but it's cool. I love Uno, but Uno games in our house do not look like that. Not a little different. Yeah. You turned on your volume to drive better. Song got oh, muted. Yeah. Right. Student driver. I'm sorry, what? It's a little more difficult to. It's funny how. Uh, music really adds everything to videos when you're watching. Oh, here we go. Is that like a drone shot that flew into the car with him? Gee, yeah, they're really going above and beyond. Good, good drone shots. The editing's kind of crazy. It's just not hitting without the music and sound not effects, though. <laughs> I'm lost. Gone. Love it. And I'd have to watch that again with the music to really appreciate it. Coffee cake? Oh, hon, this oh, one's God. for you. Here's your coffee. Sir. Oh, it's acting again. What do you know? Oh, sorry. But I have the coffee cake. Oh, no worries. I'm sure we could turn that into cake. <laughs> wow. Come on, bro. That looks so good. Golf clap him. It was nice. Yeah, is that what you do on the golf course? Yes. No. No. Why More is that like, called the golf clap? Or I guess for the audience. Yeah, when you're at like, like a tournament type thing right. where people are watching. They've gotten a little more cavalier over the years. I think so too. Yeah, people just screaming and getting drunk and going nuts. Mm. There's certain tournaments like the waste management that are like known for just being unruly and people sure. getting hammered and screaming the whole time. I feel like the players look forward to those sometimes <laughs> more than the other ones. Realistic golf course. There's no clapping on my golf course. There's no clapping. There's nothing to be clapped about. There's yelling and screaming Except those and cheeks. slamming clubs into the stop that now Sorry. and slamming clubs into the ground or snapping it over your knee and throwing it in the woods i did that with my old three woods because it was already bent i cut my thumb pretty bad because i snapped it and there was like a metal shard and i was like bleeding you know that's what you get when you can't control your temper words of wisdom whoa yo what huh he's just masking oh man now it's a new one just masking how is this working? I mean, the aspect changes. And if, can I even peer through it? 
you're gonna be there. Whoa, no kidding. Yeah, it's harder than it looks. Sick. Oh wait, where'd it go? <sighs> oh, this is the I core of digital back. guy. I just yeah. shot for 40 seconds. This is a 40 second one take VFX shot. It's not even a thing. I mean, it was a bit of a thing, but not too much of a thing. Corridor Digital are like the YouTube guys for VFX. They started a long time ago, they have a huge channel, okay. they blah, blah, blah. Not only do they make incredible things, but they do all types of videos about behind the scenes. Do they react. do like tutorials and stuff oh, to yeah. teach people? Tutorials, they that? have a react couch where they sit down and talk about some of the biggest Hollywood blockbusters okay. and go into depth about how these things are being executed. Like, I love stuff like that. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you like could that. enjoy that, like, I would sit down, 100%, yeah, I would sit down and watch that whole thing and right. be pumped about it. Of course. Okay, I don't what? graphically I don't know how impressive this is, but I do just kind of love this video for some reason. Really? <laughs> Look at this dude. Little beanie hipster hitting the synth keys in the middle of the woods. So it's just no sense, but I love it. I always appreciate how random and stupid it was. Yeah. Is this some good night for all? <laughs> what did that say? Four, three months of editing? Yeah. That's the type of work that goes into making stuff. I mean, this is like... Very well, then. We are going to do this. Full-blown CGI. Mm. Like, you have human actors, but then it turns into kind of video game looking. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that stuff is... I had something I wanted to say about it, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> the floor is lava. I'll get Jackson in on this. Oh my god. Oh, we should definitely show him this. Especially because of the skateboard. That looks awesome. He asked uh, me if he can get one for his sixth birthday. That's pretty cool. Obvious. You realize that's not real, right? Oh my god. I just had to double check, sweetheart. I never know sometimes. Yes. You know that yes. she's not She's not like skateboarding one on a skinny tiny little trip away from melting. falling to her death. Oh, well, you never know. If we were on Twitter, it might be a real one. The hell? That looks like a real owl that then has been animated over based on its movements. I think that's what's going on here. I think it's just like a shot of an actual owl and they're added the animated so? arms on the phone, yeah. Which is hilarious if that's the case. Okay. Best burger in five oh, seconds. Oh, All yeah. you gotta do, grab your emoji, pull out the hamburger. Show me this thing. Done. Nothing's done easy with a burger. Seriously? Wait, you, uh, you can't try like, it. It's not, oh, it's just an emoji. It's always so clever. It's dry. It's cardboard. Okay. <laughs> what? I know. There's a reason why he's as successful as he is. It, yeah. I mean, his shit is just so clever. Not for nothing, but it just stands out from significantly e from the, all of the rest. From everything. Yeah, he's at the top of the field when it comes to not just being good at VFX, but the creativity of how he implements yeah, that that skill in wow. his videos is just next tier, next level. I love that it's. There's a Bollywood or something. There's Indian cinema. They specialize in like action films and they make the most outrageous action sequences and I'm obsessed with it. I haven't seen this one. I'm excited to see it though. I mean, the sound in video quality couldn't be worse, but it's okay. What's he doing? <laughs> so good. God, there was another one that went viral like a year ago. I don't, I'm not gonna be able to find it, but I know some of the people in the audience know what I'm talking about. It's just so different than any sort of westernized action we've gotten used to. The way, how gratuitous the effects in the action are, it's really interesting. Tablecloth? Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Misdirection. I'll watch the second time now that I know it's coming. <laughs> good stuff. Oh, God. <sighs> Holy mother. Oh, my God. Oh, no my God. Way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, 
feel like I've seen something like yeah, that. Yeah, this person has to have a parachute. There's no way they can land in water. They're gonna no, f themselves. obviously. They'd be but then the, the, the edit was good, though. <laughs> nice. So this part must have been obviously some sort of editing and then she just cut back to her falling in the pool. Interesting. Thanks for a good TikTok. A couple million views. Happy Kelly. I'm guessing 5 million. Oh, 9.3. God damn. Wow. Look at how colorful her aesthetic is. Holy moly. Some people just have a thing and they go with that thing. There's not a single one of her TikToks that isn't brightly rainbow colored. Okay, I'm going to start one that's just me wearing all black. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's that aesthetic too, that kind of black and white mute yeah, color. Yeah. That's more of like an Instagram-y thing, I feel like. Mm. People with that very desaturated look, you know, the timeline has to all look the same. Wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be me. Pretty impressive. I like that. Happy Kelly's getting some happy editing there. What am I watching? Very confused. What did I just watch? I don't know. Was it supposed to be a different song or was that the whole point? I think so. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the point of it, in hindsight now, I'm like, it's meant to be a joke. And how bad the joke. Because you know, people do that, shit, they like throw up a piece of clothing and then hit it. Oh, and yeah, like, yeah, and, and then they're in it. Okay, okay. <laughs> this guy just kicks the shoe off to the side and then just jump. And then does the dance. Then just jump cuts to it like five frames later. It. I was looking for actually good editing. That's why it took me a second, but that's so much funnier. Than so that's very common on, I don't know, TikTok, Instagram, yeah, whatever. Yeah, those, jump, those jump, jump cut shits. Jump into their clothes. Yeah. Is that really hard to edit? No, that's just a basic jump cut. It's just timing, yeah. You just have to keep the camera in the same exact place, do the jump, change outfits, come back, try to recreate the exact same jump. Yeah. The camera hasn't moved, right, so right. then you're just cutting and trying to match that up. That's like entry level. <laughs> TikTok moms can get away with that one. Okay. And they do. Well, I have not enrolled in that entry level. Yet. Yeah, she's over here like, that's some crazy VFX, dude. How the f I ever did How that. How do they do forever. that? Yeah, it would, frankly. Yeah. Your technical skill set is not the best at social media. I'll say that much. Oh my god, they're adding a basketball with this scene from <laughs> It's just funny. If you've seen that scene from uh God, what the f Famous scene from Pulp Fiction. Got Just it. funny to add the little basketball beat at the end after that. My cup runneth over. I thank you for joining me in that because I enjoy these these VFX delights and uh, thinking about what went into making them. Zach King will always be the king. Definitely. When it comes to short form VFX So I got a question content. for you before oh, we go though, please. because you used to do a lot of editing and try different stuff like this, especially when you were first starting out. Yep. Now that you don't do as much anymore, do you miss it? I do. I miss like the, the creative side of it. I miss the creative side of it. I know it's very, yep. very time consuming. Yep. After you've made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, I don't miss like the dry cuts and the 80% mm. of the editing process. But my favorite part was always after kind of like trimming all the fat, going back through on a second and third pass and adding the little bells and whistles, the audio effects, the visual effects. Everything I did was very rudimentary and a lot of it purposely like mm -hmm. purposely rough around the edges. I never got good with like after effects or doing anything that was meant to look real. Yeah. It was always just trying to add little things that accentuated punchlines, make people laugh, whatever. But I, I do miss that element of it. Right. since I'm not now we know. doing much editing anymore. Uh, we appreciate you guys for being here. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.